Hmm. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? Right, the others. There's no time to lose. Exactly. All right, you tin bastard. One more time. Now, focus. What now? No. No point in going back this way. I found the area marked by Dr. Krauter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end and? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue.
I should move. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking! It's a drill! Any progress? Oh, we can dig as far as the terrain and out. It'll take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. As predicted, sir. We dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right. With the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see there? Uh, more of the same. What protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters underground. Uh, I see. Oh, uh, Furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once, either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski? Are you scanning those roots? Affirmative. Uh, I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still haven't reached the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, it's very old, which means these structures are even older. And what are we talking about here? A few thousand years? Tens of thousands? I'm asking for a rough estimate, Marit. Oh, well then, I guess it... It could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. Mm. Anything else? Yes. These structures almost certainly didn't form through natural processes. Almost? Well, they don't look like anything I've seen before. And you know I've seen a lot, Monic. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation for this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? Oh, don't let me guess that. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astrodata. The more research we do, the more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. Regis, we're losing reception. Cov, can you hear us? Oh. Marit, we can't hear you. Damn it. What now, sir? We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Uh, excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? I can board the second lander and fly to the surface. Yes, no, I can't let you go alone. My leg... Phew. It's finally stopped. Yeah, are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. That is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius.
got someone. I'm following the signal. on the ground. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. Oh. We're in this together. The signal's coming from the castle backpack. That's concerning. Getting close. I still don't see anyone, though. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Status? What's new? Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you.
Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as it's a journal. Geological cross section. Measurements. These are Marit's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I'm close, but I can't see her. Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? No vital Thanks, functions. What's going I need on? to. One, two, three. Come on. One, two. Don't do this to me, Merit. Don't. Please. Come on. Lift up. Merit. Everything will be fine. All fine. Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think? Kovl. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Oh, no. Yasna, status. Yasna! He's... He's... Kovel? Don't do this to me. Don't... Oh. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Kovel's alive. 
I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Covel? Covel? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouch's. Covel, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouch's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asta. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasta. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. <sighs> Not good. Cobble was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them, but it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Cobble to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Difficult to find a consistent pattern. All of this seems insane. Pure chaos. But I don't believe in coincidences. The greatest threat to humans is usually, well, humans. So I believe our crew members have fallen victim to the Alliance's actions. I must say, in any other situation, I'd be sure of it. The Invincible, however, is not in the Lira system yet. Their other ships have never even ventured near these regions of the galaxy. Or at least, there's no indication. Except for all these disturbing events. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Something doesn't add up. <sighs> See you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We all 
also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. And Dr. Krauter doesn't. I have to go back for him. There's no need. I just regained control of the Androbon, so please leave it to me. I'll carry him as well as the... Dr. Marit's body. In the meantime, please focus on finding Gorski. This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think they're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what. Oh, it's weird. Dr. Gorski hardly ever parted with it. With what? Ah, oh, you're talking about the... I located the probe. It's lying on the ground. Inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides... Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on... No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malis, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. these structures. This is where they began to dig.
Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. A shadow? Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, be nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. No data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Bull E. B A L L dash E. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. My legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it.
One step at a time, Yasna. One step at a time. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. So much sand. You sound tired, yes, ma'am. <laughs> because I am tired, Astrogator. Hi, Bully. So much of it. I guess this is the fourth point where the massive structure was mentioned. Our flag should be at the top. Land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoa, hey, easy there. <sighs> I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasper. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Kovel noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. It. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Mm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's gonna be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose the probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Bully, lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. They can have fly for this long. Yes, longer than you can stand on your feet. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man. Often faulty. We have a problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. We'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Huh. Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? 
We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory, send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? No. Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Dr. Gorski? Are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They can be singular. Though in some locations, they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, these bushes remind me of corals in a purely visual category. So I would guess that these are colonial structures, perhaps rock-forming ones. However, their main structure has nothing to do with corals. No noticeable mesenchymal tissues, no nidocyst, matocyst, or spirocyst. No visible oral discs. All right, all right, Doctor. I didn't ask for a marine biology lecture. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So this contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. The dust has already settled. Huh. 
I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. Was... Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. Whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit, it's an interesting thought. And quite disturbing. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they call that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east. Straight to the camp. Just need to find the right route. feeling we're in the dark we have to find a way agreed you should move on 
Uh, that's not quite what I meant. But yeah, I probably should. signs of the crew i found a cigarette butt and a pack someone was smoking here so they didn't give a damn about the regulations disrupting the ecosystem that, that's not the point i understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here doctor but the mission's safety is at stake i don't think i have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere preserving the integrity of regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario Negligible, actually. That's true. It's just, apart from keeping our crew safe, I also have academic concerns. That's completely understandable, Doctor. However, we must focus on the mission. It has the highest priority, always. Forgive me, but such thinking is an anti-example of the galactocentric code. We should explore other worlds, while keeping our own interference to a minimum. Whether in the solar system, in the far reaches of the Milky Way... Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. Now, I've heard a thing or two about galactocentrism. Do not meddle in other non-human matters. Seize the void, but do not attack that which has developed its own equilibrium over millions of years. Do not consider anything other than human as either better or worse. It all sounds beautiful, Doctor. But no one will be satisfied with a void, or someone else's well-being. In my opinion, this is an idealized doctrine of scientists who spend most of their lives idly gazing at the sky. Like me? Not at all. You are actively involved in space exploration. This route may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh, I feel nauseous. Suddenly. <laughs> Not it. I feel darkness.
Are you there? Over. I guess that's a no. What's going on, sir? Astrogator? Dr. Yasna. I tried to resuscitate him, but... No, please. Koval? Dr. Krauser. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypothalamic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I can't believe it. It was a damn robot. He must have dropped the doctor. Killed him. No, Yasna, I as commander misjudged the situation. Everything indicates that the doctor had an accident after he left the camp on his own. I should have known he was endangering himself. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Guess I know where Gorski was going. <sighs> going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crouch's body? I placed him in a cryo chamber. Are you going to use a grey tapper? Yes, I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? I have a feeling that would be inappropriate. We need to test... the end of the rope isn't that good not at all what do you mean damn oh that's the last thing i need oh i'm stuck i'm hanging with my full weight on the rope away from the wall Oh, I can't go up. Nothing to grab onto. Ritual. How far to the ground? <sighs> A good few meters. <sighs> uh, any ideas? I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that yet. He could keep going even with injuries. Well, I'm not hanging here forever if we still haven't come up with anything. A certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Astrogator, as much as I love complex analysis, I'm really sick of all this hanging. <laughs> of course. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. 
If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. You sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right, let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. You could say so. I fell from a lower 